What's going on, everybody? Just got a super quick video. Want to kind of test out Hawkeye here and explain all of his new mechanics. And I gotta say, man, he, he's got one of the coolest mechanics ever added to this game. It makes you feel like you're actually shooting the arrow yourself. It's this slow down mechanic. So what you do is after the first hit of Hawkeye's special, if you hold block, it'll actually slow down the, the, the game's animation. And then you have to release block at the exact moment that Hawkeye releases his arrow. And if you do that, you get a guaranteed critical hit and you gain some uh, bonus effects as well. Uh, you even uh, gain an additional bleed if Hawkeye is awakened, which mine is here. So uh, as long as I don't screw things up, we're going to see that. Uh, and then you even gain a, uh, a little passive effect that extends the duration of all your debuffs too that can stack up. Uh, for up to 50% extra duration. So let's do it with this special two here first. So hold it after the... There we go. All right, perfect release. It's going to be hard to talk while doing that, man. Uh, it's already, you know, uh, still new, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. Let's try again with the special one here. Slow things down. Okay, we got the perfect release there as well. Nice. Um, so his heavy attack inflicts a slow... Ooh. Ooh, okay. I tried to do two heavies up against the wall. Uh, couldn't quite do it. I don't know if I was just too slow or if that's just uh, Hawkeye's heavy attack animation unable to do that. But um, still, just the fact that he has a slow... Nice, we got the perfect release again. Uh, just the fact that he has a, uh, a slow on his heavy attack. That's super useful, man. Uh, it is so, so useful. Just like... Uh, you know, She-Hulk. There we go. Got it again. Uh, it, it, when you're when you're doing this for the first time, you you, you you might get some early releases. Here, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, let's get an early release on this one. Um, let's throw one more special one here. So we'll slow things down and up oh, early release. I, I noticed that you have to. Uh, typically, it, it it feels like you should hold it for you know. Just another uh, half second longer than what you might instinctively want to do. Just because, again, the animations are slowed down. So if you're having trouble getting those, uh, you know, those perfect uh, releases, just hold on to it for a little bit longer. All right, the special three I actually haven't tested out yet. I'm going to be testing it now for the first time. And this has uh, a bonus effect to it as well. Oh, I didn't get the perfect bonus. Uh, if you get the perfect bonus, it... Uh, uh, I think it just extends the duration of uh, the bleeds by up to 200% or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's got a pretty nice duration to that bleed. And all basic hits from Hawkeye, they actually pause the bleed durations for a second. So, uh, that bleed, that's, that's going to be up there for quite a while, man. Um, all right, we need to... We need to get another uh, perfect release, though, on the special two. So the special two, that's where the, the damage really comes through. And uh, it gives these fragility debuffs that just increase Hawkeye's crit damage. All right, we got the perfect release. Um, so we've got two of those, thanks to the perfect release. And now you can see, yeah, look at that. Look at that crit damage that's coming through, man. Um, so this is not going to be the fastest fight. It's a fairly high hit count fight. Um, be just because I was demonstrating his abilities, uh, not going for pure damage. Plus it's only a six star rank one, not with the suicide masteries. Don't have suicides on or anything like that. And it was still pretty good, man. <laughs> it was still pretty good. So, uh, dude, Hawkeye is a legit champion right now. I don't think he's the type of champion that... I would necessarily rank up just, you know, I, I don't know, just for, without any purpose, without any reason to rank him up. But uh, if there's ever a moment where you need a slow debuff, like that's all that's all the purpose you need to rank up Hawkeye is that heavy hit uh, causes a slow debuff on the opponent for 10 seconds. That's really all you need. It's the only reason uh, you need to rank this guy up. Um, the same, like, I mean, it's the same thing with, uh, you know, She-Hulk or Spider-Gwen as well. Uh, if you need a slow debuff, these are some of the fastest champions to provide you that slow debuff. Uh, and yeah, man, I, I, I think they, I think they did a great job reworking Hawkeye. So just to cover a few more, uh, things about Hawkeye, um, the Awaken ability, it 
doesn't seem like you need anything more than sig level one uh there's two parts to it the first part doesn't scale it just says landing a critical hit with an arrow shot will cause any personal bleed debuff triggered to become a critical bleed multiplying the bleeds potency by hawkeye's critical uh damage multiplier so if you get a perfect release it's a guaranteed critical hit uh if we see here these special attacks final hit 100 chance to inflict a bleed debuff dealing it's not even that high of, of bleed damage uh, but over 10 seconds, uh, and then each bar of power spent beyond one grants plus one debuff and plus five seconds duration. And then perfect release, arrow attacks uh, become a guaranteed critical hit. So with a perfect release, with the guaranteed critical hits uh, and the SIG ability, um, yeah, it's just, it plays nicely together. Uh, then the second part of that, it says, additionally, each bleed debuff on the opponent reduce, reduces their physical resistance uh, by a whole bunch. Now... Uh, I don't think that this takes it into the negatives, although may maybe don't quote me on that. Uh, need, need some more info, but I don't think that lowering physical resistance works the same way as, as armor breaks. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure if, how much that is going to actually impact Hawkeye's damage, uh, you know, unless the opponent just naturally has a bunch of physical resistance. So it is nice in those situations, but... Uh, there's not that many situations where you need to reduce physical resistance. Uh, okay, so moving on, this this section here just talks about the perfect release. But the second uh, bullet point here, this is uh, important, it says, Activating a perfect release bonus grants a dialed-in passive, increasing duration of personal debuffs inflicted by arrow strikes by 10%. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that it was only by arrow strikes. So that does not increase the duration of... Uh, Hawkeye's heavy attacks that inflict the slow, huh? Well, I mean, it's it's such an easy access to that that slow that it's not that big of a deal. But uh, ah, dang, that would have been nice if it also increased uh, the slow debuffs as well. But okay, okay, fair enough. Um, all dialed in passives are removed when failing to activate a perfect release. That's the other thing too is you gotta keep up those perfect releases it's not so bad with a little bit of practice but early on it, it, it's gonna take some getting used to uh, okay so basic attacks pause all bleed debuffs on the opponent for one second there's the heavy attack slow we already covered the special attacks the special one is a 100 chance to inflict power drain removing 75 percent of a bar of power the perfect release on it just gives you a uh, or gives the opponent a suppression debuff reducing the opponent's comet power rate by 50 percent for eight seconds the special two again it gives that fragility debuff which uh, says attacking a fragile opponent grants a whole bunch of crit damage rating and reduces block proficiency by 80 percent um now hawkeye he doesn't have any way to add to his his damage uh, outside of uh this which means he's actually going to benefit quite a bit from running the Suicide Masteries. But, of course, Hawkeye, he's not necessarily a suicide-friendly champion. But, uh, before we go on to the special three and uh, reading really what that says, um, there's this synergy here that, uh, well, I haven't really tested yet, but it says gain immunity to poison debuffs from non-mutant champions. Now, I'm on the live servers. I'm not on the CCP, so... I, I can't just turn the Suicide Masteries on right now to test that, but it seems like he would not take any damage as long as you're not using him against a mutant champion. Uh, more testing uh, needed. Maybe someone else uh, has already tested that and put out a video, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's cover the special three really quickly here. It says all bleeds triggered during this attack gain up to plus 200% duration uh, based on Hawkeye's critical rating. And based on Hawkeye's critical chance, bleeds triggered during this attack can be critical bleeds, multiplying the bleeds potency by Hawkeye's critical damage multiplier. Getting a perfect result in the special three minigame grants maximum critical rating for the attack. So, uh, yeah, the, the, the bleeds getting the extra duration and having them be critical bleeds as well. Uh, it could be so it could be some pretty decent damage but yeah the special two really that's where it's at the special three just if you need that that long bleed uh damage maybe for uh like the do you bleed node kind of thing uh all right we covered one of the synergies but real quick just to talk about a couple others um this first one man there's a lot of really good champions in this nerve toxin arrows synergy 
uh saying arrow strikes pause all slow debuffs on the opponent for six seconds per level of special attack so if you need to extend the duration of those slows that's the way to do it and you're not really sacrificing much by bringing in uh some of these champs unless we're talking about og a bomb here but in reading that uh that the title of that synergy it did kind of remind me like dang dude you know people were kind of asking for different arrows to throw into hawkeye's quiver and we didn't necessarily get that in his base kit which is a little bit unfortunate but honestly i I, I like the way that they designed Hawkeye and the slowdown mechanic and stuff like that, so I'm not really too upset that we didn't get them in uh, in his base kit, and we're getting them here in the in the synergies. Um, so the next one is Adamantium Arrows, which has arrow strikes remove all rock stacks and rock charges from the opponent. So going up against Thing, going up against Korg, yeah, you're going to have a much better time using this synergy. I think it's best against Thing. Thing. Uh, against Korg, you know, it's only your arrow strikes that remove the rock stack, so uh, don't get me wrong, it would help, but a lot of times you're, you're, you're hitting the opponent to build up your power meter anyway, uh, which is going to remove those rock stacks, uh, you know, but against Thing, when you're hitting Thing, you're, you're building up his rock stacks whenever you hit him, and then to just remove all of those with the activation or special. So I think it's it's much more of a thing counter than it is a cork counter, even though it can be both. Uh, okay, so the other synergies, just some power gain and armor. And that's it, man. That's new Hawkeye. Like I said, I, I think he's pretty legit. Um, I, I, I'm not necessarily going to rank him up right away myself but he's always going to be right there in the back of my mind anytime I think that I'm going to need a slow debuff, uh, especially from a skill-based champion, since slow, it does not work against, uh, you know, class disadvantage, so you kind of need multiple class types with the slow debuff, um, just so that you can never really uh, be countered, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll even rank this guy up. Maybe I'll take him to rank two or something like that. Um, whenever I get some extra resources that, uh, I don't know what to do with. Um, but yeah, that's Hawkeye, man. Solid overall champion. Really fun to play. Super interesting and unique mechanic that they gave him. All right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.